Hi, on NPI, brought to you by DigiKey. Thanks so much, DigiKey. This week, it is Bull Jin and Infinity Brand. Lady Ada, tell me, what is this week's new product introduction? NPI, new product introduction. What is it? <laughs> okay, thank you for spelling it out. What is it? Um, we haven't done Belgian yet, so I'm excited. I always like to see new companies, and um, this popped up. And um, what I thought was neat is this is a range of battery holders, and I like that they were all... Well, all but like a couple uh, are panel mount, um, which is great if you're, you know, creating a design um, that uses an off-the-shelf enclosure that doesn't necessarily have battery case, or you're modifying something that exists. You want to add batteries to it. Um, they come in a wide range. I'll show all the, the variations of different. You know, the, the one on the very left is internal mount only. It's got these nice strong clips. Um, I think the factory is in Tunisia. Uh, the middle one is a tube uh, panel mount, so you'll drill a hole and you can um, put in the batteries by popping open the top. And the one on the right is a rectangular one. That's actually the one I got a sample of. Um, it's, you, it, it's not watertight, but it's you know fairly dustproof, um, and you can you don't need any tools or a screwdriver to open it up. And so these are very um, user friendly for replacing batteries in the field. Um, you know, normally when we talk about people making portable products, we recommend using a uh, lithium polymer battery, lithium ion battery like these that um, DigiKey stocks. And um, these are great, you know, they're fairly low cost. They're easy to charge, you need a charging circuit, but you can charge it over USB. Um, they have very good uh, energy density, but they're not very user friendly, like usually um, to protect them because they can get damaged um, and then they can, you know, melt or cause a fire. They are um, kind of tucked in a safe part of the enclosure. Um, you have to make sure they don't get too hot, not too cold. Definitely don't want them to get punctured or, or damaged. Um, and, you know, they last a couple cycles, but you, you know, you have to recharge them through the USB. You can't swap them in and out easily. Um, recharging takes about an hour or so. And so you can't like quick swap in, um, a new power supply if you, if you wanted to. And, um, most importantly, you know, there, there is limitations on how you can transport them um, with, you know, UPS or any air transport. You have to label and package it correctly because of that risk of uh, damage. And so, you know, once in a while, we just tell people like, you know, especially with kids toys, because um, you have a lot of kids toys now, a lot of them use double A's or triple A's alkaline batteries because they're very safe. They take, you know, they can take a lot of abuse and, you know, at worst, maybe they leak acid, but that takes many years usually of, of um, it being left in a, a device. And still that cleans up fairly easily. Um, you can buy alkaline batteries, you know, in any store. They're inexpensive. Um, they're very high energy density. And if you're worried about waste, you know, you can always get nickel metal hydride batteries that are available in the, in the universal standard, right? Like, Outlet plugs may vary from country to country, but a double A is a double A, a nine volt is a nine volt anywhere in the world. And no matter where you are in the world, you don't have to worry about it. You know, you're going to get the right voltage and about the same uh, current capability. Um, so for that reason, we kind of like these battery holders because once in a while we tell people like, look, you know, if you want something that's user replaceable, that you don't have to depend on having a USB or an outlet, you, know, you can carry spare batteries. Um, they tend to have low discharge. You know, AAA batteries are tiny. D cell batteries are, you know, whatever huge. They have like twenty thousand milliamp hours. Um, they're massive. You can get rechargeable. You can get alkalines. Um, they're very user friendly. And these battery cases, um, you know, some there's a variety of them for all the different sizes, from you know single nine volt to four AAA to three C batteries. Um, what I kind of like about them, like I said, is is that they're panel mounted. Um, which makes them very easy for users to swap out the batteries. They don't need any special tools. You don't need any special expertise. And they also have, they're a little bit more expensive, but they have IP67 ones. So, you know, you're sending out your equipment into the field um, where it's going to be used in a very dirty, wet, dusty, you know, environment. Um, IP67 is going to be, you know, gasketed, fully waterproof, fully weatherproof, um, you know, it's user serviceable and it's protected from the environment. So these are, you know, these are especially, I think, if you are in a situation where you're like, look, I have to get something 
where it's going to get rained on, it's going to be outside, it's going to be muddy, it's going to be dirty. Um, dealing with a lithium ion battery might not be good, especially if there's a lot of temperature variation and, and there's risk of crushing. Um, these battery holders will definitely do the job for you. And like, I love that they're, um, you just twist them off with your hand, no special tools needed. Nice. Okay. And these are Probably. in stock. All the varieties, I, you know, I highlighted this nine volt. Um, you can show it on the overhead. You know, what I like about these is they're, they're very um, nice, thick plastic, very durable. Um, so this one, you, you know, it even has the instructions written on it. You lift, this is not the IP67 one, obviously. Um, this is, sorry, this is a nine volt. There's a little spring to protect it. It tells you how to insert it. There's contacts. And then, um, on the other side, you know, there is solder lugs that you can attach to. This is the four double a likewise, no special tools required. You just have to like pinch this. Maybe I'm, it's hard when it's not actually mounted to something. Well, believe me, you can, you can pop this out if you have stronger hands than me. Um, and also you have the solder lugs on the back. Do you want me, maybe you can try to, can you you want me to pin, do? pinch those two sides together? This side and then the side at yeah, the same, same time. Yeah, Oh, I see. Yeah. You can do it. This is a nice design. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> well, I like that it's, I mean, it's possible, but it's not easy. Yeah. You, oh, there you go. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So Phil's got slightly stronger fingers than me. Um, but I like these nice, strong clips here the battery indication of how you mount it. And then, yeah, you can slot it back in. And so the IP67 ones, they have a gasket and they're round. So they're, they're I think, a little easier to open. Um, but they're also, you know, tubular and longer. Anyways, that's just some demos of the uh, battery holders I liked. Okay, and we have a uh, short video. Enjoy this Ion NPI special video. Manufactured from quality moulding and metal components to ensure a secure and reliable connection, Bulgin's battery holder range caters for battery sizes AAA, R03, AA, R6, C, R14, D, R20 and PP3, 6R61, accommodating one, two, three or four cells. Yeah.